These are the injuries. Could you, can you give them a pass if all these players were fit? Listen, when Let's, these players were fit, two... they weren't playing particularly well either. No, Jesse Lingard wasn't getting a game. Martial had two or three good games yeah. as usual and got injured. That's what he does. Eric Bailly hasn't played for goodness knows how long. So you're looking at Adam Wan-Bissaka and Paul Pogba who make a difference. The rest of those names haven't made that much of a difference on a regular basis. Listen, just before you know, listen, people... People need to get their head out their backside with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I, I, you know, he, this, he might be the nicest man in the world. Straight guy, great little player, but we're talking about managing one of the biggest football clubs on the planet. So people have got to get their, get your head out of the sand. I don't care if you're an ex-teammate or a mate. There's a bigger picture here, and the, and the bottom line is, it's a dereliction of your job if you're just pointing towards the obvious problems of Ed Woodward and the Glazers. And I've said many times, there are many facets of problems at Manchester United. There is the ownership, there is Ed Woodward, there is the playing staff, and just as important as that, there is a manager who isn't fit to manage a club of this size. And you can hide behind it all you want, these people, with, oh, you know, the signings have been bad. Oh, Ed Woodward's done... Oh, the, the bottom line is here, if Man United are going to get back in, a, in the mix, they're going to have to go and get themselves a top drawer manager and pay the money, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, they can throw whatever money they want at it. If you don't have somebody at the helm, they've all tried it. Yep. If you don't have the top guys at the helm, you're not going to compete. Mark, I hope you don't mind. We were talking off air, mm. and you weren't saying it tongue-in-cheek. United could be in real trouble. We're talking relegation scrap trouble. Yeah, I don't think they'll be relegated. I'll say that now, but I do think that as it stands, this team could be dragged into a relegation battle on the basis that they've got a lot of players injured and they do get a lot of players injured, which I'd be concerned about if I was a, anyone at Man United because struggling teams tend to get injuries and players don't come back very quickly. So they've got injured players, they've got a very weak squad, they've got a lot of young players and if you're losing to Newcastle, then you know, you're gonna, are you going to lose to Watford? Are you going to lose to Burnley? To, I mean, Burnley is a way above United, but who in that team will you turn to when it's going tough in November, in December, you're playing Everton away. Can you back any of those players to turn it on and get your result? If you're, if you're a kid and you're a Man United supporter, whose shirt do you buy? Mm. You know, if you're a City fan, you buy Aguero, if you're a Liverpool fan, you buy Salah. I mean, who do you hang your hat on at Man United? They're a team of no stars. And they, you, know, you can talk about Pogba all you like, but he doesn't perform like a star. So if you're in a, if you're in a battle for points, when teams below you have got the fighting qualities to get out of a mess, who in that Man United team have got those qualities to get them out of a mess? Now, like I say, I don't think United are relegated. Maybe it's because they're Man United. If you put those 11 players in Watford shirts, I don't think you'd, you'd bat an eyelid. I think you'd think, yeah, that's, that's Watford. But it's Man United. I expect they'll, they'll sign players in January to get out of the mess. But like Craig says, the problems run a lot deeper than the, the current situation of the manager and the squad. It goes back... It probably goes back to Felix Ferguson's latter days when he, he made bad signings in the transfer market. People like Phil Jones... Chris Mon that are still there now to all intents and purposes. Why? Nine, ten years on, they haven't made the right signings and the right strategic decisions for ten years now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.